Right, TikTok, the most dangerous virus ever to come out of China. With its 1 billion active users and unlimited drip feed of dopamine, this virtual meat market is a breeding ground for mental illness. It's also the world's biggest online urologist. Oh, no, wait, that's Dick Doc. With its lip syncing, dances, life hacks, odd viral trends, or promoting people faking mental illness, they have a vast array of tools to destroy your attention span and natural reward system. TikTok, or as Jeffrey Epstein calls it, Uber Eats, is being banned by more and more countries around the world, and fingers crossed it'll be banned here too. I don't think it'll be long. When Biden and Trump both agree, you know it's bad. Interestingly, the letter P in TikTok stands for privacy. Some of the data that they collect includes messages you send, apps you use, sites you visit, your location data, search history, keystrokes, and it's all stored. If you didn't know by now, TikTok is run in conjunction with the Chinese government and legally required to give them all their information. And you know why it's called TikTok, don't you? Because it takes just a matter of seconds for it to steal all your data. While the West version of the app promotes big bums and dum-dums, the Chinese version pushes inspirational and educational content to lift their younger generations and actively flags and removes degenerate content, while also banning our social media apps. TikTok clearly needs to be banned, but in the meantime, look, I'm not telling you to put down your phone, go outside, touch some leaves, roll in a puddle and live a real life. Just go on shorts or reels. Jesus, you've got YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all those sites with X in the name. And if you're really crazy, Twitter, just get rid of the one app that you know is actively trying to cause you harm. But TikTok does do one thing well, Darwinism. Don't be a dodo. Anyway, this was great. Give us a little sub you up. I'll see you next time.